This is today's task. Project nursery. <sighs> so much mess to clean up. Yes. Look of the day. My loungewear from Peter Alexander. Got this fleecy top on and my fleecy jogger bottoms and my very cozy fleecy Ugg boots. Um, this is the look of the day for tidying out this mess. Oh my God. So this is going to be the nursery. It's not a very big room as you can probably tell from the angle here. It's just a very small box room. That is my clothes rack just there with some shoes underneath. I need to just tidy all that up. And over here, well, let me explain. Um, obviously that is Rod's uh, team jersey that he's got signed. And that is not staying in this room. The baby does not want that in his room and it doesn't go with the new color scheme. This is Rod's keyboard that he insisted came out and he never plays it. That is a really fuggly lamp that Rod likes to put in here just to make a bit of ambience at night in the room. But again, that's going in the bin. And then just down here, okay, it's a bit of a mixture of stuff. Some of this stuff here is my stuff that I need to go through, donate or bin or sell. And then not sure what we're gonna do with that stool. This stuff here is stuff that I've started accumulating for the baby. Um, so I just kind of need to obviously keep this stuff. This is the doona that needs to go to the dry cleaners because it's uh, due to be washed. So yeah, I just gotta kind of tie all this stuff up so we can paint and get rid of this really ugly yellow toned color on the wall. And then this is the wardrobe, which I'm not even gonna open because I don't even know what we're gonna do with all the stuff that's in there. There's just so much stuff in there, it's jam packed. But um, yeah, look of the day. And that is the project because, you know, baby is coming in like less than three months, probably about two and a half months actually. I'm now 28 weeks. So officially in the third trimester and we need to start getting a move on with this room because I have done nothing for the baby except buy those few things down there, which I mean, um, I didn't really buy that much. Some of it's been given to me and um, yeah, we haven't even got a cot sorted or a pram or a change table or like zero, I've done zero. So this weekend is project nursery, starting with cleaning out this room and um, I've got my lazy comfy clothes on because today is an at home day and it is pretty cloudy outside. It's a bit miserable, it's a bit cold. So I'm keeping nice and snug and warm. And uh, let's see if we can transform this room in a weekend into at least a clean space that is fresh and white and not this ugly color. I just really can't stand this color anyway. That is the plan, so it's time to get cracking. Start with this clothes rack of mine. There are some things here that I probably need to refresh in the wash, and then the rest can just be packed away, and I will dismantle this rack, I guess. And then, um, yeah, I think that's gonna be the easiest place to start. The rest is gonna be a bit harder. I need Rod to help me put some of that stuff away like the keyboard. The keyboard that he demanded, he wanted out so he could play it and never does. And I'm just so sick of looking at it. This room used to be a really tidy room. We used to have a queen bed in here and it was so tidy in this room and we never really came in this room to be honest. Um, no one really stayed over, so we probably used the bed maybe about five times in, I don't know, five years. And so we just thought, let's make more space of this room and better use of it and sell the bed. So we sold the bed about a year or maybe a year and a half ago. And since then, it's just accumulated junk. You know, everyone has those rooms in their house that they just accumulate junk. This is the room. Yeah. And so now... 
now the junk's got to go. It's um, having a baby is a good excuse to tidy up and make use of this room. So yeah, <sighs> today's plan. But I'm going to feel very cleansed by the end. And I've just decluttered all this rubbish. So this corner is almost done. I've emptied the rail, give it a quick dust. That will have to come down as well. This here is a pile of shoes that I need to try and sell. And then here I've got a couple of boxes that I want to keep. I'm just going to find a home for them. This one also has a bag in it. And then that's just a bag of some stuff of mine that I need to put back in its place. And um, okay, first step done, next step, Oh, so much to do over here. Oh my goodness, where to start? I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I've divided the stuff in this corner into donate this is the donate pile mostly my clothes and some shoes this here is still some clothes and some homeware stuff that i'm gonna see if i can sell if not it'll go in the bin and then here the sad lonely little lamp that's definitely going in the bin nice to know you but it's time to go <music> thing to go Rod's pride and joy are you gonna take it off the wall Rod I guess I have to <laughs> we'll rehome it for a bit but you know it's not really gonna go with the baby's nursery theme oh there it is <sighs> anybody want to buy it <laughs> good afternoon and it is very late in the afternoon. We are back on nursery painting duties. So since I last vlogged, I had pretty much cleaned out the entire room to make room to start painting. And Rod spent pretty much the whole day yesterday sanding and sugar soaking and I'm painting all the um, skirting boards and the window frames. So it was a bit of a long day of prep work and the prep work pretty much takes the longest. So we um, were commencing painting. We did start cutting in last night. Don't know if you can see in some of the corners here, the cutting in, but then it was just getting way too dark in this room and the lighting is pretty bad so you just can't see properly to cut in so um, yes we're a bit late to start painting today I had hoped the room was going to be completely finished by the end of today but no chance not going to happen at all so it looks like next weekend we're we'll back on painting in this room but um, we're going to start on the ceiling now so cutting in on the ceiling and get the ceiling done then we can come back to the walls basically um it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and it is getting really dark already so it's just too hard to see cutting in um so yeah that's pretty much where we're up to rod is hard at work over here cutting in he's got his little setup just in ignore the junk in that wardrobe but he's got his iphone there with the football playing in the background so we can hear the scores anything to motivate him to paint if it's football in the background that helps him paint then he can have the football on but um, that's pretty much what we're up to so yes that is the plan tonight let's see if we can get the ceiling done at least it's a bit of a long slow process so this is the bump in the outfit of the day for painting i can't really pull these up anymore 
this I try to pull it down every time I go like this to paint it just pops right back up so you know the joys of being pregnant and the uh, the pregnancy wardrobe but painting outfit of the day old clothes <laughs> I was just trying to get up and down the ladder with the paintbrush and the paint tin trying to balance everything and not fall off the ladder and yeah I must look like great entertainment for you guys great entertainment what a great look a pregnant belly trying to get up and down a ladder with a paintbrush and tin <laughs> not the easiest of tasks I will just say that but anyway on with the cutting in for the ceiling and more entertainment for you guys. renovations is underway and we finally have white paint on the walls. Roddy's doing a really good job, a very good job. It is late at night so hence the terrible lighting in this room but making me very happy that this awful yellow colour is finally going and it is looking much fresher in here. Um, much fresher still got a few more coats to go i think we're gonna have to do maybe two possibly three on the walls but looking a lot better already so getting there finally getting there this is the current state of the nursery let's just ignore that stuff right there <laughs> but rod has been painting this morning this door has now had one coat of paint on it so it's just drying and we've just got one more coat to do and then it's almost finished i just want to paint inside the wardrobe just to freshen up down the bottom inside the wardrobe that's the washing let's just ignore that um and yes i do still have a little bit, bit of my junk that i had started to clean out still in here but you know baby steps we're getting there we have made huge progress the room's now finished painting and Rod has worked really hard. He did come home a few nights last week and do a little bit each night just when he came home to try and get on top of it. And he spent yesterday just finishing it off. And so now it's done and I'm really happy with it. I love the color. It's just that sort of like, well this is the color that we had painted the living room and then we decided we didn't like it in the living room because it was a bit too blue but i think in here it works really nicely maybe it's different lighting or the fact that there's carpet on the floor i'm not sure but it does work much better in here it does have that subtle cool blue undertone like a soft gray but with a blue undertone and i'm really liking it in here i think it's going to be really nice for the little baby boy that's coming into this world in about 10 weeks time so yeah we are now going to go to baby bunting it has been a bit of a slow morning today because it is pouring down outside and it's actually really cold so we just thought we might go to baby bunting and have a look because we really have to start looking at prams and cots and everything basically because we have done nothing but this is what I'm wearing today. I've just got my grey Zara coat on from, it's actually from last year, but I think you can still get it this year. And then underneath I have a grey top. This is from ASOS. It's just a long sleeve top with the ruching down the side. It's a maternity top. 
but it's great for stretching over that bump and it's nice and long and then I've got my soon maternity jeans on that have got that elastic waistband and then I just popped on these white boots which I'm hoping are going to be okay because I've had really badly swollen feet lately and they've gone down a little bit so I'm hoping that these are going to be okay because I've really just been living in ballet flats because my feet have been so swollen it's not funny um but yeah because it's pouring down with rain I thought let's see how we go with these boots because they are a bit of a wide fit so I'm hoping they're going to be okay but that is the look of the day the look of the day in amongst the junk my god this is so bad so bad um but yeah my other room is just really dark so yeah anyway let's see how we go and um see if i can get a pram at least Woo! this is a whole world of the unknown it's exciting it is exciting okay let's go good morning where to start um pram shopping last week yes what an experience that was i pretty much it has taken me the whole week to get over the experience i think it did not go as smoothly as i would have liked um i'll just recap so basically we went looking for a pram last Sunday and I kind of wasn't really in the mood to go out anyway I mean I should be excited about going looking for a pram but I don't know I just felt really flat last weekend and the weather was like miserable and yeah by the time we got out the house it was a bit of a disaster the day from the from the start let's be honest so we called for a chai latte I was really hanging for a chai latte all morning we go for a chai latte. We were lucky to get a spot right out the front of the cafe to avoid the rain. And Rod goes in, gets the chais, comes out, and off we go. Now, I didn't taste my chai straight away. I did sort of, I was doing something on my phone, and so it was probably about five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever, before I took a sip. Meanwhile, we're driving along, and Rod is happily sipping his going oh they make the best dirty chai's the best dirty chai this is so good now let's just say rod likes a dirty chai i just like a normal chai latte with almond milk so then when i eventually took a sip of my chai latte as soon as it hit my lips i went this has got coffee in it this is yours he's adamant no 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 i've got mine i'm happily drinking it i said no no this has got coffee in, you taste it. He tastes it and goes, mm, this is mine, this has got coffee. Yes, correct. So by then he passes me the one he's been drinking, it's like half empty and I'm like, we need to go back and get another one. I want a chai latte. Like don't mess with a pregnant woman when she wants a chai latte, she wants a chai latte. So I made him go back, go back, we get another one and by this time we went back um <laughs> we didn't get a park out the front we had to park down the street so then because it was raining he got a bit wet and uh yeah that just set us back because we had already gone like a couple of suburbs by this time and so it just set us back like 15 minutes then we get back to pretty much where we were on the road when i had tasted my chai and rod says oh i've got a really large esky in my boot that might not be um, might not be enough room if we're going to get a pram or a cot today. And I said to him, "Look, we are not going home now. Like it'll be three o'clock by the time we get out the house. We've got a fair way to drive. I'm not going to be going back. If I go back to the house, I'm not going to leave. So yeah, we just. I was already a little bit like mm, not in a great mood. By the time we get to the store, it was so." busy like ridiculously busy and so we went straight to the cot section and had a quick look around at the cots and i couldn't find the cot at first that i was looking at eventually i found it in a different color and i was a little bit like mm, unsure whether i liked it that much and then the sales assistant came over and look she was a little bit of a know-it-all and 
Um, it kind of, again, was starting to get me off on the wrong foot. So in the end, she was like, I don't know, it was just her, she wasn't the most helpful, I'll just say that. So in the end, I said, let's just forget about the cot for now. I need to come back to this. There's another one that I've seen somewhere else. I need to have a look at that. Let's go and look at the prams. We go to the pram section. Now, luckily, because I had already found a sales assistant in the cot section, I was able to go straight into the prams and look at the prams and get some advice from her. There were people waiting there. They were complaining that they'd been waiting for like 20, 30 minutes to see someone about getting some help about, you know, looking at prams. It was just mayhem. Anyway, I kind of had about three brands in mind that I wanted to look at. And so I just said, I want to look at these three brands. I have a particular look that I want, um, you know, more about the look than the uh, functionality because that's, you know, me um, but um yeah basically she showed me the prams and i kind of had my heart set on one i said okay what colors does it come in because i'm very particular about the color that i want and then there was a whole mix up between what tickets were on the prams on the floor and what was in the system we couldn't work out what color was what i'm looking on my phone trying to google it so is she there's people complaining, there's kids running around. It was just bedlam. And in the end, I just thought, I need to get out of here. Like I could feel the, like, I don't know, the emotions starting to really take over and I just needed to get out. So I ended up coming home. Well, I didn't come straight home. We decided to take a detour to another store on the way home because I just said, look, we're going to pass one on the way home. I just want to go in and see what tickets they've got on their floor stock so I can try and understand the colors and the, you know, for the prom that I want. We went in, there was probably about 20 minutes till closing. A very, very helpful lady came over. And by the way, this store was like quiet. There was nobody in there. So it was nice and relaxing and calm and she was very helpful and I ended up changing the pram and getting something different and for a very good price so basically the pram that we have bought is a clearance line because they have bought out the newer model which to be honest is probably not that much different um, to the older version and I looked at the clearance version online and the retail price that that is being sold versus the offer they gave us because they had one left in stock in a color that I don't mind. It's kind of like my second favorite colorway. Um, and it was a very good offer. And at the time I didn't take it because I said, I just need to go home. I feel like today has been so overwhelming. I need to go home, have a cup of tea and think about it. And so I did. And then overnight I was like talking to my sister and getting her opinion and looking. And I thought, you know what? It's a really good offer. Let's get the pram. So we got the pram. It's here in that big, big, big box on the floor. And um, yeah, it's been sitting there all week because it's not been a great week. I'm not going to get into it now, but it's not been a great week for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, today I'm quite excited because we're going to look at cots. And I'm actually in a good mood today, despite the week that I've had. Um, I will unbox the pram maybe tomorrow with you. I need Rod to help me. But um, yeah, we're going out to look at cots. And yeah, I can't wait, to be honest. I'm actually in a good mood. So I'll just quickly show you my outfit that I've got on. And um, we will go. So this is the outfit of the day. I've just very quickly curled my hair because it was a bit messy but i've got this very cozy wool jumper on which is from witchery it's on sale they may have some left i'm not sure um but i really loved the nude like the pinky nude color of it and i've just got that on with my coated black jeans from soon maternity it's a little top underneath. And I've also got these boots on, which I'm not sure if you can really see them. They're black with silver studs there from Senso Shoes. I'm actually surprised I've got them on my feet considering how swollen my feet have been this week. But they're on. And um, yeah, I'm kind of liking my outfit today. Nice and cozy because it's pretty cold outside. And um, yeah, let's go shop for cots. Good afternoon. Today... Is Sunday. I'm currently in my lazy 
clothes. I've just been, I've pretty much spent the whole morning cleaning, washing, just catching up on things around the house because we were out all day yesterday. But it was a good day. We have bought a cot. It's now, I think it comes in about two weeks. So I've got the cot that I really wanted. So I'm really happy about that. I can't wait for that to come. And we also bought a set of drawers to use as a change table. So it's not an actual change table. They're just a set of drawers. And I had seen another blogger um, with use these drawers and change the knobs on them to make them into like a really nice change table. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, I'm gonna pinch that idea because I really like that. <laughs> I like what you've done. Um, I can't remember her name, but if I uh, find her details, I'll pop them in the description box below. But basically I'm just sort of copying what she did, but sort of using slightly different knobs. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm pretty excited. So that was from Ikea. We ended up buying this flat pack. Again, I will link the details to the name of the product in the description box below. I think it's the Hems or the Hen Henners or something like that. I'm not exactly sure um, how you pronounce it, but basically it's like a quite a wide, like double set of chest of drawers. And yeah, I'm not so keen on the knobs on them, so I'm just gonna change them. And um, I've gotta find something first. But I'm thinking something matte black for the room, which will also match the bathroom, because we have matte black in the bathroom. So yes, we have some flat pack building to do. We were hoping to do that today, but um, I'm not sure we're gonna get to it. <sighs> yes, just so much to do, but I feel quite relieved now that we've actually got a couple of things ticked off the list. We've got the pram, we've got the chest of drawers, and we've got the cot, even though it's not here yet. But yes, I feel like once we put those together in the room, I can start to get all the other bits and bobs ready. So I'm quite excited, I'm quite excited. But um, I think my sister and my mum are about to arrive, so I'm gonna go off and have a cup of tea and something to eat, maybe some biscuits, <laughs> and um, I'll touch base when we have built the items in the room and I'll show you what they look like. 